Today we are going to talk about the phone jack. Okay, that's this thing here. Okay, it's uh, usually actually known by lots of other names. Um, so this one I've got in my hand right here. This is uh, an instrument cable. Okay, and this on the end is the phone jack itself. Okay, so we call this an instrument cable or we call this um, a TS cable and I'll tell you a little bit about that in a second. Um, but lots of you will be familiar with something maybe more like this one. Okay, and this one here, um, you would be familiar as an aux cord or an auxiliary cord. Okay, that's um, more of a nickname than an actual name, but uh, it's the same type of jack on the end even though they are different sizes. So there are multiple versions of the phone jack. So this one here is a quarter inch, um, and that's to do with the width here. So it's a quarter inch wide. Um, we'd also call that in metric um, uh, 6.35 uh, millimeters. Okay, this one here is an eighth inch. So you can see the size difference, um, an eighth inch um, or 3.5 mil. Okay, these are the two most common sizes. Um, and there are a few different configurations. So this one here is TS because it has a tip and a sleeve. This one here is TRS because we have the tip, the ring, and the sleeve there. And I've got another one here which is TRRS which is the tip, ring, another ring, and the sleeve. Okay. Um, that one you only really see on headphones. So let's start with TS. Okay, this one here is a TS cable and a cable that has two of these. So one on each end is called an instrument cable and it's frequently used to connect electric guitars and keyboards uh, to amplifiers or other devices. And this can be used over short distances. Okay, so the TS cable has two wires inside and if I can open this up for you, I should be able to show you. So here we can see we've got two separate wires. Um, one is soldered onto this part here, which travels through here and reaches the tip. And this one here is soldered onto here, which is attached to the sleeve here. So each of those runs down the center of this cable separately, um, and they never touch each other. Or if they do start touching each other, they stop working. Okay, so that's why we have to be really careful with our cables. We don't run them over with chairs. Uh, we to try not to step on them because when those two cables on the inside start touching each other, this stops being any use as a cable. Okay, so the tip carries the audio and the sleeve carries the ground, which is what helps the uh, circuit work. If one of those breaks, if the, if the tip um, cable breaks, then you don't get any audio signal and if the ground breaks you get uh, lots of noise okay so it's uh, really important that both of those work okay in the case of a TRS cable this one here uh, this can be used for a couple of different things okay so they have an extra point of connection on the jack which can be used to carry either a negative signal for balanced audio which is like what our XLR cables do or another positive signal for stereo audio, which is like in headphones, we have uh, left and right sounds. So in headphones, this would be your left, this would be your right, and this would be your ground. And that would work again over short distances. So when you have headphones that have a TRS, that is how that works. So this cable here, we use to um, run a headphone signal into the studio. So that's what this one is doing, it runs left and right, but um, if we had a different setup, we might use this uh, to run balanced audio instead of an XLR cable, but we'll talk about that later. Um, just for fun, this is TRRS, and this is off a set of headphones that I have, and uh, this one has the left audio, right audio, microphone, and then the ground. So the microphone uh, also needs to be able to connect separately and run back through the cable, and that's how that's done. Um, there are even more variations on this, but you're starting to get the idea of how this works. So your simple TS cable here, this is what you use on electric guitars or any electric instrument, an acoustic guitar with a pickup. Um, or a keyboard over a short distance. This can be plugged into an amplifier, 
into a DI box, maybe into some pedals, um, and it will work as long, as long as you're running over short distances, it'll work really, really well. Okay, the reason um, these cables aren't made any longer than they are is that after um, any longer distance, they will pick up lots of noise and interference, uh, so they only run over short distances. Okay, so we're talking about 15 meters. If you want to run over distances longer than that, we're going to need a different type of cable, so we'll learn about that next time.